This is the Accident and Emergency Department. You might also arrive here by ambulance. When you arrive at the department, the receptionist will ask you some questions. What was your date of birth? 19th of 1265. And your surname? Uh, Sandy Smith. What was the problem today, Sandy? Well, I've got a little chest pain in his back and front. Yeah. No problem. Do you need any extra assistance? Well, I've got this uh, passport because it's got no difficulties, so I, I, it's got my details on there. It's important to tell the receptionist if you need extra support and that you have a learning disability. It helps if you can bring your hospital passport, if you have one. Okay. You will be asked to wait in the waiting room where the nurse or doctor will come to collect you. At other times, you might go straight to a different area of the department. Sandy Smith, please. A nurse or doctor might see you at triage, where they will ask you more questions to make sure you're seen in the right part of the department by the right people to care for your condition. How can I help you today? Um, well, I've got the chest pains. Chest pains OK. Here. And when did the chest pains start? Well, it happened about two, two days ago. Two days ago. Does the pain go anywhere else in your body? A GP service is often available in the department. This is also known as the Urgent Treatment Centre and provides care for people with minor illnesses or minor injuries. Majors cares for patients who need more complex support and are unable to sit in the waiting room. So Sandy, if you had to score the pain out of four, four being the worst pain, how would you score it? Three, three and a half. Three and a half out yeah. of four? Yeah, three and a half. Okay. So Sandy, we're going to do your blood pressure and heart rate now, if that's okay. It's, it's not going to hurt, is it? No. It shouldn't hurt. No. It will get tight no. on your arm. Okay. But it shouldn't hurt. No. Oh, yeah. Let me place this one on your other finger. What's this for? This one checks your heart rate. Oh, okay. I'm also going to check your temperature at the side of your head. It may be necessary for you to have further tests and observations and you may be taken to meet other nurses and doctors. I'm just going to hand over to you. Sandy's been experiencing some chest pain for two days. Okay. Need some bloods and an ECG and a repeat set of observations if you don't mind. These tests should not hurt and we encourage you to ask questions if you're not sure or you're afraid. You may need a blood test. Please tell us if this worries you or you need extra time for this. You may also need an x-ray. This is similar to a photograph of your bones and should not hurt at all. Okay. Though it may mean we have to change your position regularly. I'm going to take a nice deep breath in and hold it, okay? If you're in pain, please tell us and we can give you some painkillers before you go to the x-ray department. And breathe normally, well done. You may also need a scan. This is different to an x-ray which looks at bones and gives us more detail for our investigations. After the nurse or doctor has seen you, you might need to stay in hospital for a while. If this happens, the nurses will take care of you and your doctor will visit regularly. Your own visitors can also stay with you in some circumstances. You may also go home and we will send a letter to your usual doctor to let them know you've been to see us.